Good evening, boys and girls. Hi, I'm Zach, and I'll be your host tonight. You know, I love Christmas. There's so much about this time of year that makes you just full of joy. One of them is the music that you hear this time of year in shopping malls and other places that play music. Now, when you think of Christmas, you probably think of the melodica. Of course, that's what most traditional uh, Christmas songs were originally written on, was the melodica. Not the piano. The melodica. This is truly one of the most difficult instruments to master, but I've oh, do you hear that straight mastered it. Not really that big of a surprise. I'm kind of awesome. But I decided I'd share my, my gift with you, <coughs> you guys this, this holiday season. So join me on a magical journey through the world of Christmas music, and we'll see what we can discover together, all right? Sounds good. Let's get started. So the first song on our program will be... Oh, let's see. Oh, a classic favorite. God rest ye merry gentlemen. All right. There's sound of Christmas right here. All right, let's enjoy together. No thanks, but th thank you, but hold your applause till the end, otherwise we'll never get through this. Alright, next song. Let's see. Ooh, how about Frosty the Snowman from the classic uh, TV show Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, oh, I know. It was pretty good, wasn't it? All right, what's next on our program tonight? How about well, a classic Yuletide, classic Christmas Yuletide song? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, bud. Actually, no, I forgot how that one goes. We'll, we'll, we'll skip to the next one. That one's not actually not that great of a There's the Christmas song. No one likes it. Hmm. Oh, here comes Santa Claus from... Yeah. Next up, we have a holly jolly Christmas. Never realized before quite how much that sounds like an Eric Clapton song. All right, next up we have. Ooh, for those of you, for you rock and roll fans out here, we have Jingle Bell Rock, which is one of the movements that inspired um, rock.
Mmm. Another classic. Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. No, that one's baby. I actually completely forgot how <laughs> mistletoe goes. Just now I look like an idiot. But fortunately, I can edit that part out later. So, I can do anything I wanted here. They would never see it. Idiots. Come on. Like, they're actually gonna watch this. <laughs> People can't appreciate real art when they hear it. What? Sorry, okay. Um. um Little drummer, are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Three, two. Next, we're gonna do Little Drummer Boy by, um. Fours are so Vikings. Now for you Jewish watchers out there, you're probably feeling pretty left out. And if you've made it this far, good for you. But here's one for you. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's a classic song about a red-nosed reindeer named Rudolph who does fog with his nose. It's really inspirational. It inspired me as a kid to... It didn't, it didn't inspire me as a kid. And that part at the end, that's a little thing that jazz people like to call making stuff up during the middle of a song, which is something that they often do. Um, I don't think they're supposed to. I don't, I don't get jazz. I don't, I don't think they're supposed to. But, hey, I'll work on making some real music while they can do, they can do their thing. All right. No offense to jazz people out there, I'm sure that there's there's something about jazz that makes Santa Claus is coming to town. All right. I forgot how that that one goes, so we'll skip that one. Our next song, always if not all another classic uh, Christmas song. Now this one inspired lots of Christmas people to write their music, like Frances Scott Key when she wrote America and the Beautiful. And this one's called Take Me to Church. Yeah. Now, melodica is really voted the most Christmassy instrument out there, but. What about the second one? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's a harpsichord. I don't have one here today because I, I don't. But what I do have is the third most Christmassy instrument. What will connect folks from instrument? 
called, wait for it, drum roll please, <laughs> using the fourth most popular Christmas instrument. Here we are. It's called the jaw harp. Now this is a little song. Oh, like the scree sound? Yeah. It's actually called Silver Bells. <laughs> If you didn't recognize that as silver bells, it's because you don't, don't understand music. And that's something I can't help you with. That's something you have to figure out on your own, okay? All right. Hmm. We're just going to do one more because I'm getting tired of the attitude, okay? So we're just going to be walking into Winter Wonderland, I think. Yep. Yeah, no, you know what, first, before we finish with that, we'll do a little Nutcracker Suite from the movie The Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky. He's a good movie guy, but it wasn't my favorite. One more for all you great boys and girls out there walking in a winter wonderland. Merry Christmas, everyone. Still running? Oh, whoops.